Richmond International Raceway. Mike Waller, Mike Waller, and that waiting for the track to open, waiting for the halls to come in for the last race to the race to the chase. Saturday night, Richmond 400, Chevy Rock and Roll 400, Rock and Roll baby, yes sir. We got a bunch of guys going for those last few spots in the chase. Who's going to make it? Who's going to miss it? Carl Edwards? Hey, had a bad night in Atlanta. Is he going to rally? Of course, we can talk real seriously about the guys that are going to make the chase and the guys that aren't. But once the chase begins, looks to me like it's pretty cut and dry. Tony Stewart, by far the head and shoulders above the rest. Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon chasing him. If Kyle Busch makes the chase, he could be in there too. He's a home run hitter. But NASCAR needs a home run rule. Over the winter, they need to change a few things. They need to add more downforce to these cars. By looking at the new nationwide car tomorrow, we should debut at Daytona but in February, but probably won't they, they debut at Daytona in July. NASCAR admits that they need more downforce on these cars. Make them handle better. More downforce, better racing. Ask any driver, ask any crew chief. Another rule they need to have is opening up testing again. They need a home run rule, a 100 point bonus to win. Got to change the dynamics of the chase and the race to the chase. You got a race to win, and if you win, you can make a home run. The way it is right now, looking at Carl Edwards in Atlanta, for example. Bad luck early in the race, could have lost 150 points. But can you make up 150 points in one race? No, not right now. You got to make up 5, 10, 15, 20. That's not good enough. You need a home run rule where a guy can step to the plate, knock out a home run, and pick up 100 points, maybe 150 points, a bonus. Open up testing, more downforce for the cars, and a home run roll. Those are my three suggestions for NASCAR to consider during the offseason, before the 2010 season begins. And maybe we'll add a few things to the chase next year, a few twists, we'll see. Mike Mulhern from MikeMulhern.net, Richmond International Raceway, waiting to see if Tony Stewart comes out of here, still on top the Sprint Cup standings.